I don't stay out late, don't care to go. I'm home about eight, just me and my radio. Ain't misbehaving, saving all my love for you. Thanks to you. Oh, it's great, miss. Yeah, she was tucked up with Roger Ray's book, wasn't she? Oh, shut up, Tony. I don't know my little love nest. Take no notice, miss. I like your new hairstyle, it? Makes you look like Juliet. Who, oh, miss? You know, Shakespeare, Romeo and Juliet. Oh, I don't know. You must have a useless English teacher. Oh, oh you should not that bad. <laughs> Tony Pickering, you didn't give me your history project at the end of last term. No, Miss Jenkins, sorry. Well, it's gone down in my book as grade E. But unless you produce it by break, it will stay there. It's really respect you, Maria. It's not respect, it's fear. You know what Machiavelli said? To frighten the wolves, you must be a lion. Oh, what if you're a gerbil? Hello. Oh, hi, Dick. How's Christmas? Oh, yes, thank you. I, I, I mean, it was uh, uh, nice, uh, quiet, but, well, you know, quiet. I, I worked. <laughs> Worked? Yeah, you know, med things, pottery, mugs and jugs and, uh, well, things. Uh, how about you, um, Maria? I accompanied my husband to South Wales and watched him and his family demolish a few pubs. Oh, crikey. <laughs> what about you, Izzy? Oh, I did masses of things. I went to exhibitions and things. Did you, Izzy? Which ones? Oh, the one at the, um, the Tate. Which one was that? I'm just saying, uh, uh, some, um, modern thing, you know, I don't know. For me? Hello? Izzy? Michael, darling, how have you been? Oh, you know, I missed you. Why didn't you ring? I was positively burdened with matrimonial duties, darling. Oh, I know. Christmas. And then Jack had chicken box. Poor little thing. But I do love you, my little English mistress. Oh, me too, darling. I just rang to wish you good luck. First day of term, eh? Yeah, I wasn't the dentist. Well, sock into the little horrors, darling. Yeah, but look, can we meet? Oh, oh, no, 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 it's, it's coming. OK, then, Bill. Bill? Yes, I'll, I'll get the outline off to you tomorrow. Give my regards to Brenda. Oh, darling, this is horrible. Bye-bye. <laughs> Who was that? No, it's just, it's just, um, it's a man who's going to come mend my ceiling. Mend your ceiling? Yeah, your hole appeared last night, just, you know, water coming through. That, that, that happened to me once in, in Derby. But didn't you call him darling? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's Marling, Mr. Marling. I had a great big bulge in mine. Did you dig what, didn't you? In me uh, ceiling, I think. <laughs> it were an old lead water pipe, you see, what had been left dripping for months. Oh, really? Yeah. Anyway, I'll give it to Pork and the lock come down. Well, let's hope Mr Marlin's technique is a little more gentle. Hey, is he? Yeah. Today, I want to have a discussion. Oh, no. Talk about marriage. Okay, is it a good thing? Do you all want to get married eventually? Miss, my mum and dad's divorced, miss. And Razor's, miss. His mum's been married three times. Thanks. Where is Razor's? Oh, he's been wiped out by the Chelsea mob. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Marriage. I ain't never going to get married, miss. Why not, Wayne? Staffed, innit? I mean, you get landed, right? You marry some old girl, yeah? Two years later, you've got a couple of kids, no nah money. Same old boring routine. Sit at home, get fat, watch the telly, never see your mates. You're finished, <laughs> didn't you? I disagree with that. Stop that, Gary. Uh, Susan? No, miss. You don't have to have kids right away, do you? Because you can go on the pill, right? And anyway, I'm staying at work once I get married. Miss, I think women should stand their place. Where's that, Andy? Bed. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore that. 
uh, uh, Andy. Thank you. OK, right, just think about a new problem. Gary, I have had enough out! <laughs> <laughs> Settle down, OK. Now, do you think it's always wrong to have a relationship with someone else if you're already married? No, miss. Not if your husband was cruel and beat you up. He'd beat you up even more than wouldn't he, you stupid cow? <laughs> <laughs> now, if my old girl was messing around with some other bloke, I'd kill her. Oh, but you wouldn't mess around with other women, either. Well, that's different, isn't it? Of course it is. <laughs> well, only a scrubber would mess around with a married man anyway. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, th I think that's, um, that's... Right, well, I think we've covered some important points there. So, for the rest of the lesson, I'd like you to jot down your ideas oh, under oh, the heading marriage. And stop this noise or there'll be no drama tomorrow. <sighs> what on earth do they think it's all about? <sighs> I wonder what they'd think if they knew about me and Michael. Miss, how do you spell marriage? It's on the board of your book. Oh, if only he'd never met Louise, then I could have married him. And, oh, and we'd live in, oh yes, Gloucestershire. Miss, there's someone at the door. It's Mr Barnes, miss. Oh, come in, Dick. Get on with your work, Wayne, if you want to do drama tomorrow. Hello, Dick. What can I do for you? Well, this is just some bump about a trip I'm organising to Fulham for, for, for those who do pottery. OK, I'll give them out at the end of the lesson. Thanks. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. In a cottage in Gloucestershire. We'd have two children, a girl called Sophie, and she'd look exactly like Michael, and, and, and we'd have a boy, too, called uh, Tom, and he'd look like... No, come to think of it, he'd look exactly like Michael, too. Is he? What is it, Dick? Would you like a mug? If so, I'm your man. <laughs> a mug? Or a set of mugs. I made lots at Christmas. Oh, yes. Thanks, Dick. That'd be lovely. We'd have lovely hand-thrown mugs on the dresser, and Michael would be reading. By lamplight. Shall I bring him round for you on Saturday, then, is he? Oh, yes, Dick, if you like. Uh, uh, maybe you'd like a bite. Uh, I mean, a bite to eat, a, a meal out, sort of thing. Yes, Dick, lovely, thanks. And Michael would raise his head and our eyes would meet in the lamplight. See you on Saturday, then, is he? Uh, about eight? Yes, lovely. Thanks, Dick. And then Michael would sort of beckon me over and... Oh, wait, wait, wait. The children. Oh, I know. They're staying with the grandma. <laughs> Then we'd. And just spell reality, miss.